Today we're going to look at two of Amber's vlogs. The mirror site I usually use is not working for some reason, so I'm actually watching these on her channel, which I usually don't do. Let's go. I got two chips, although I asked for an apple. <laughs> Self-aware girl. Okay, you guys, this girly pop. Oh, welcome to vlog though, hi. Okay, this girly pop is hungry, and normally I have eggs and corned beef hash when I first wake up, but I want something on the lighter side because I am going out with my mom today, and I think we're gonna go grab something to eat. And when I do that, I still wanna say below calories or near calories. Like, I'm not trying to make any mistakes around here. I'm just feeling really good. So we're gonna keep it up, keep up the momentum, keep up the motivation just the determination oh and by the way a lot of people are like oh my god that cardigan does not fit her i purposely like it hanging over like that i think it's cute that's just me because it very much does fit i just don't think that looks as good but then we we have like <laughs> why am i explaining myself so i'm not really a yogurt girly pop i do like frozen yogurt because that tastes like freaking ice cream let's be real but i wanted to try this oko's triple zero has 15 grams of protein it's only 90 calories it's in the flavor banana cream. Oh, I wish we had protein yogurt here, but we don't. So I'm excited to try it. Okay. Smells like yogurt. <laughs> of course it does. All right, I'm gonna stir it until it looks good you know what i'm saying what i don't like about yogurt is like that weird sour taste like it's just not for me and i just realized i need to go put on my rings before i leave all right so let's try it that was like the tiniest taste ever also i'm gonna put her faster because like i said i usually don't watch here so all my settings are weird but yeah, that was like the smallest taste of yogurt ever. <laughs> oh, that's a no. Where are those? She loves dairy products, like yogurts, ice creams. You can't have this, my beautiful baby. You know what would be good in this? Like just a couple mini chocolate uh, like chips or you know what I'm talking about, like little tiny thingies and like a chocolate chip cookie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't like it. If you like yogurt and you like banana cream, you'll like this, but if you don't, then you're not gonna like it. So I'm currently in Target. Look how cute. I love that. <clears throat> no. No. The black hat looks fine. No, no, no. Hats are not for me. At all. <laughs> I'm currently trying to see if this necklace will even fit around my fat neck. I do like it to be shorter though, so. Why is she looking around like she's doing something illegal? It will. Okay guys, so these are all the journals that I have. And I'm about to complete one, so it is time to choose another ASMR. So I have done this before with you guys, but this is how I usually choose my journal when I'm just doing it by myself. So I like to vlog it too, because it's fun. Hey, I can also do ASMR. <laughs> I've got no idea how that's gonna sound. <laughs> so it's kind of like process of elimination here. So I'm gonna get rid of the one that I don't wanna use next, and then I'm gonna keep the one that I do wanna use, and the process will go on until I have one left. Why does she have so many journals? And what does she write in them? They're so aesthetic together. Love. Like, tell me that isn't the cutest little setup. I bought this one like years ago, and uh, this is one of my newer ones. Some of those are so ugly. <laughs> cherry, All right, it looks cherry, like this cherry. one won. I've had this one forever. It just says be brilliant. And this is how it looks on the inside. I'm so excited to start this new journal. Okay guys, so I'm worried about Twinkie. So I'm actually about to take her to the emergency vet. So last night I noticed she didn't want to eat her food. She barely wanted a treat. 
she's acting lethargic. Like even minus all that, I can tell when something's wrong with her. Usually it's because she has really bad joints because she is a very small dog and she is older, so she takes medicine for it. So usually when that happens, it's just like, instead of her doing everything by herself, I'll like literally carry her and I just baby her more than usual. But I noticed, oh, it's actually not her joints this time. She's not limping. She's not like having her typical symptoms. So what I do is I gently touch all over her body. I look around her body. A vet actually told me to do this years ago, that if you notice something's wrong with your dog, sometimes there is like a painful something on them. So if you gently, I mean gently, just like feel around them, pet them. So that's what I was doing, doing. me and Twinkie were just like cuddling and it was like nothing on her body. Like she was fine, but I could tell something was wrong. So then I looked more like in depth on her face. So like under her mouth, there's like a lot of swelling. And I'm like, that's not normal. But it's like in a way that you can only see it if you're like looking at it from like under. When I noticed that, you know, my first response is to, okay, baby girl, let me gently and calmly open your mouth. Like she didn't want me anywhere near it. So this could be anything, a tooth problem, but it could be a jaw problem. My brain goes to like, is it a tumor? That's just where my brain is going. So I'm gonna take her to the emergency vet. I'm very nervous. She's my heart and soul. Um, so that's what I'm doing. And my mom's actually gonna take me, so I appreciate What, you're not gonna go and eat at Chili's first? It hurts so freaking much. It's okay, baby. Aww. It's okay. Okay, guys, so as soon as they saw Twinkie, they said, I think it's an abscess. So the vet gave me the option to sedate her and so they can do like a more thorough look just to make sure it's not something worse or whatever. So they gave me that option and I said, uh, yeah, please. <laughs> so here's Twinkie after being sedated. This was in the back of my mom's car. She was out of it, you guys, that poor little baby. But the outcome is she has an abscess and she might have to get her tooth surgically removed. And that just breaks my heart for her. Like she was so out of it. Look at her. Now she's on antibiotics and a painkiller and she's just my little baby. And I just feel absolutely horrible for her, but it is two days into the future. So hello, she is doing so much better. The swelling is down and she's acting like herself again. She's not acting like she's in pain. She's happy again. So tomorrow, which is Monday, I will be calling to make an appointment to get her teeth either surgically cleaned or she might have to have it removed, which is very, very sad. Well, I mean, she is quite old now, and having the tooth removed is probably the best option, so it's it's not that sad. Dogs get teeth removed, and they're fine. And I mean, the vet obviously will know what they're doing. So it is the next day after I just filmed that voiceover. Twinkie's doing so much better. Hi, baby girl. Yeah, she's just resting right now because we just came back inside from going for a walk. Um, I had someone contact me today on Instagram saying like, are you okay? I heard there's tornadoes in Oklahoma right now. And I'm just like, um, I didn't know that there was and now I'm scared. It was sprinkling a little bit when we went out there, but I mean, the weather's fine, but Oklahoma is known for the tornadoes. So I'm a little scared. I also want to give an update on my little like weight loss challenge. As you guys know, I wanted to reach 450, which would be another 50 pounds lost. And I just kind of wanted to count, see how long it took me. So today is day seven and I weighed in at 493.6. So I'm going, I'm trucking along. I have not gone over my calories in a week, which is so crazy for me because like, I am not really that really pop lately. Like, I haven't successfully counted calories like in a hot minute, to be honest. I just really want to be aware of what I'm putting in my mouth. Because if I didn't do that, it's like a few hundred calories here, a couple hundred calories there. Like it all adds up in the end. And yeah, she's, she's right about that. Definitely. It can add up fast and it can add up with stuff you don't even think would add up that much. I don't show progress when I allow myself to have those extra calories here and there and there and there. So it's just really good to stay under my goal. I'm actually about to go make lunch right now. So let's go do that. Okay, so I'm about to put some salmon in the air fryer. I just seasoned it with some garlic salt and a little bit of pepper. I'm also having Caesar salad. So it is a salad kit, which this is delicious. There is three servings in it. So for the salmon and for the salad, it is kind of high calorie. It's 700 calories, but it's going to keep me full for a while. Okay, so while the salmon is cooking, which is almost done, I'm gonna make the salad. So in total for this whole meal, it is 770. So first we have obviously the lettuce, and then we have the Caesar dressing. I'm gonna use these tongs. Next we have some Parmesan cheese. And then instead of croutons, they give like crouton crumbles, which I think I prefer if I'm being honest, especially once this is all mixed together. Okay, so at least she's counting the dressing, the croutons, and the cheese. Because often people are like, no, salad is healthy, salad is low calorie. But then they add all the extras, which totally changes the calorie count of the salad. And I don't think to count those. So at least she's doing that right. I must say, in theory, what she says and what she shows is good but we don't know what's going on when the camera is off.
And I do like to add some black pepper on top. Look how delicious that looks. All right, so here is my lunch, a salad and salmon. I do have a lot of salad left actually. All right, so here is my lunch. I'm actually pretty hungry. Right that is still a lot of salad, but I'm not a big salad fan. Is salmon cheaper in the US? Cause where I am, salmon is so expensive. So I basically never eat it, even though I would have liked to. It's really, really expensive here. Right now, mm. this brand, I promise you, the best salad ever. All right, let's try the salmon. I do eat the middle first. I don't know why. It is cooked perfectly. Mm. 10 out of 10. All right, you guys, so I'm gonna be weighing in. Hello, it's ready. Stepping on, I figured I would record it's this ready. one for you guys. 492.2. I'm almost in the 480s. I can see that happening in the next like three to four days and I'm super excited for that. I just realized that it's 3, 3, 3 o'clock. That is a good sign. If you guys know, you know. So we're currently in my bathroom because I need to clean out this. What is happening, Amberlynn? And Why does she have menstrual products if she's, you know, if she had a hysterectomy? I guess you could have it for friends, but how many friends does she have? <laughs> and it doesn't stop there. Wow. So yeah, I just, I really need to clean this out. Like this is looking crazy. My mom took a shower here like two months ago, stayed the night, so there's still some of her things in here. And I'm just like, girl, I have not cleaned this in forever. So it is time that I do so. Actually recently got some new um, like gentle floss. So I'm excited to try this brand. Plus, you know what called out to me? The color of this bag. Something that has greatly helped my hair recently. I've never used those floss sticks because you have to throw away the whole stick every time. And that just feels like a lot of waste to me. So I usually use the trade floss is Garnier Fructi Sleek and Shine Anti-Frizz Serum definitely recommend if you guys have super dry skin the Cetaphil uh, moisturizing cream very to dry to dry sensitive skin also recommend this so I usually use dry shampoo but I actually stopped using it about two weeks ago so I'm gonna throw this away so I have a bunch of these little uh sampler like perfumes well I mean why do you have to throw it away you can just keep it for emergencies I have dry shampoo. I hardly ever use it, but it's nice to have for in case. I know I have some like Louis Vuitton up in here. A subscriber actually sent to me and I have them in this like Q-tip container. I just thought it was a cute idea. So I would just grab it like that. And I don't know, it's cute. I literally want to almost get rid of my straightener. So I'm not tempted. I've actually had this straightener for easily a decade. So I got the top one all cleared out and then I was working on the bottom and realized one of my bath and body works leaked a lot. Blech. All right, you guys. So the bottom first still looks a little cluttered, but it looks a lot better actually and then this one girl that looks fine it's inside the cabinet no one cares like no one's gonna open that it looks a lot better actually and then this one is just like amazing now i just have a very bad habit of keeping everything clean but then when you open a drawer it's like whoa that's a mess so if i was to use my sweetheart cherry body spray instead of putting it back where it belongs i would just go and then if you do that with everything eventually it starts to look very messy all right you guys i just okay. rinsed some fresh green beans I, I... Oh, green beans. <laughs> I've never been able to cook them adequately. It's like they just never get soft enough. So I just, I don't like them. <laughs> I don't like making them. I'll eat them if someone else makes them, but I've just never been able to make nice green beans. I do love candy green beans, I'm not gonna lie, but I wanted to make some like... Candied green beans? I've never ever heard of that. I have no idea what that is. I mean, obviously it's something sweet, but... That's not something we do here. Asian inspired green beans. So I'm about to do that, season these, cook these down real good. I'm probably gonna have some rice and some salmon as well. Okay, so I added soy sauce, minced garlic, sriracha, some pepper. And right now um, it's just in some water because I am counting calories. I do want to cook these down like a lot. Like I want them to be skinny, shriveled, flimsy. Like that's my goal, so. Okay, maybe I'm wrong, but wouldn't they have the same calories whether they're that size or whether they shrank a bit? I'm sure the calories don't decrease when the thing shrinks. Once I get there, if I need any oil, then I'll add some. But as of right now, like using water for this is totally fine. All right, you guys. So it is finished. I did add some sesame seeds to the top of the green beans. They came out exactly how I wanted them to. And then, of course, my typical salmon that I love making in the air fryer. And then that is some rice that I cooked in my rice cooker. Okay. 
looks a bit bland. I would have added some, I don't know, some like chili sauce to the salmon or something. Maybe some freshly squeezed lemon juice. Let's look at the other one. Let's go. Hey guys, welcome to a new video. So today is like a weigh in, what I ate today, chit chat, maybe a cook with me moment. But right now I just want to do like the introduction, get a weigh in in, and then I'm ready to eat. So a disclaimer, I will be eating in this video. I know in some what I ate today videos, I do not eat, but in this one I probably will be. And I do like to do disclaimers because I know sometimes people don't like seeing people in general eat, let alone a fat girl. So I really quickly want to put my weigh in because I am so excited. So here it is. I don't care what someone looks like. I don't really want to see people eat. Oh, hello, hello. So we're going to do a weigh in. I'm pretty pumped. Hello. hello. Okay. It's ready. Yes, it is. I've been doing pretty freaking good, you guys. So, stepping on, let's see why not. 489.6 Shut up! Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, I'm gonna cry. Wait, I'm gonna literally cry. 489, you guys, I did. Oh my god, I've been wanting to reach the 480s and I did it. Now, the Well, if that's true, then well done. 470s are coming. Oh, I'm so proud of myself. 489.6. Like, I almost cried. I had like a couple tears in my eyes. I'm very proud of myself. So in total, um, from my highest weight, I am down 82.8 pounds. So that's amazing. And then since the beginning of this year, I'm down 28.2 pounds. I'm almost down 30 pounds. Like, that's incredible. Like, I told myself in the beginning of this year, like, I need to do it because I'm 33. I am not getting any younger. Yes, I'm young at heart. I can be kind of childish. You guys know that. A little immature here and there. But deep down, like, for real, for real, your girl's getting old. Like, I got the gray hair to show for it. So instead of just, like, trying to be proud, Bruh, 33 isn't old. Come on. It is if you abused your body. But if you take good care of yourself, 33 is not old. Perfect overnight. I slowly just like intuitive ate for, I want to say a little over two months. It was working. It was doing good. But now, you know, I was like, hey, a couple weeks ago, let's kick it up a notch. Like I want to be aware of how many calories I'm eating. So I weigh and measure all my food. My goal is to stay below 2000 calories. And this video is just showing you guys what I decide to eat today. There's no rhyme or reason for most of my meals. It's just don't eat junk junk. Like I'm not sitting around eating candy. Trust me. It has been hard. I do want me some candy sometimes. So like the other day, I allowed myself to have a serving of sour gummy worms. It was so good. It was like the brain trolley or something. Like it tasted like heaven. Because normally I would allow myself to have those things every single day. But since I'm only allowing myself to have them like in moderation, it's like when I finally do have them. I'm like, wow, let's savor this and like really enjoy it. So today I am staying home. So everything I will be eating will be at home. There will be no Uber takeout. The only time I allow myself to eat like restaurant food is if I physically go there myself. So if I'm with my mom or family or friends, today is not one of those days. But I do want to film of what I ate today. Like the next time I go out to eat, just to show you guys kind of like how I do it. Not everyone will agree with me, but I will say that what I am doing is working. So let's get into my first meal. Okay. So She's still on 1.5, but this video, she's talking a lot faster, so it sounds even faster. My first meal, I'm having one of these sweet Italian chicken sausages that I'm just cutting up. I'm going to cook in a pan, which I am using Pam, which is zero calories. Sausage is 110. Speaking of Pam, when I do use... There was this whole thing about her spraying Pam on the food, and people were like freaking out about it. And for some reason, I thought Pam was an air freshener. So I thought she was spraying air freshener on the food to make it smell nice. It wasn't that bad at all. It's like actual oil. I will weigh it on my scale before I use it because it does have calories. So I also have um, some leftover rice, which is two servings, so 320 calories. And then obviously my typical soy sauce, we have some it's garlic, sriracha, it's just my go-to, it's what I like. And I'm also going to have one egg, so it's kind of like a fried rice moment. Okay, so my sausage has been cooking for a bit, so I'm going to add my rice now. I also have obviously my mince, oh my god, I'm getting rice everywhere. I'm a messy cooker, one thing that uh, if y'all want to know about me, I'm very messy when I cook. But anyways, yeah, I also have my minced garlic up in there, so I'm going to add just a little bit of sriracha. Hey, as long as you clean up your mess, it's fine. Yeah. A little bit of soy sauce here and then just move it around as such okay so now that the rice is all warmed up and cooked well it was already cooked you know what i mean i'm going to grab an egg here and then i literally just want it scrambled so if i could change anything about this i wish i had some like green onion oh my god that'd be so good Okay, you guys, so it is finished. Now I'm going to put it in my bowl. So this is 500 calories in total, but that is a perfect amount for my first meal. That's usually around where I keep it. Okay, guys, so I haven't even tried it yet, but I want to let you know that I'm also going to be having a A&W. This is the zero sugar root beer. So good. This does not taste like diet soda at all. All right, let's try a bite. That meal looks nice. I'd maybe add some cayenne pepper or something, but it looks nice. Oh, and a lot of people are like, why do you use plastic silverware? Like, it is literally asset every single time I use these. These are not plastic. They're just 
uh, black. So yeah, there, it's just regular silverware. Mmm. Happy dance. Oh, this is delicious. Mm -hmm. 10 out of 10. Okay, so that eating wasn't too bad. I mean, it's leagues better than Chantal's eating. Like, there's just no comparison between this clip and Chantal's disgusting eating sounds. ASMR. I feel like we have to have an ASMR segment in each one of my videos. Oh, she tasty. Okay, guys, so next meal is pretty simple. I'm gonna have some jerky meatballs, some broccoli, and some of this Classico roasted garlic. These will be in the air fryer. I'm going to cook these, and then I'm gonna add the sauce and have these two things cooked together, and then I'm gonna throw the meatballs in and have it all cooked together. I'll show you step-by-step, step, but it's super simple. All right, so I'm cooking my broccoli. I just really simply bring it to a boil, and then before it gets too soft, which I honestly don't mind soft, but before it gets too soft, I simply just strain it, and then over here, we do have the meatballs in the air fryer. <laughs> Those meatballs look so sad in that air fryer. <laughs> Okay, so I got all the water out, and now a serving of this is 125 grams. So I set the container on there. This is honestly the easiest way for me to do it. So we're just going to wait until this says 100 and negative 25. So, because that means that's how much I use. So I'm pretty good at, like, not going over, usually. So, 120. So I'll just leave it there. It's pretty close at just eyeballing it. I've done this long enough, but... You can never be too sure. So that's why I like being in the habit of actually weighing my food. So I did add some tapatio to the sauce because I do want a little spice to it. Yeah, that sounds good. So now I'm gonna see if these meatballs are done, which they should be by now. It's supposed to go up to 165, but in my brain, I want it to go up to like 175, which it is. So let me try another one just in case. Yes, these are finished. Oh, I thought it was just a knife, but it's a thermometer. But those meatballs are so small. I'm used to like really big meatballs. So now I'm going to put the meatballs in here. This is such a simple and low calorie meal. Like I'm telling you, it is so low calorie, it's going to shock you. But I can't wait to share once it's finished. So I'm just gonna let that probably cook for like two minutes, I would say. Just everything meat together and marinate and all that. Okay, you guys, so for this huge bowl of food, it's literally only 313 calories. That looks really nice. I would just cut the broccoli smaller, but it looks nice. 233 for the meatballs, 30 for the broccoli, and then only 50 calories for the sauce. Okay, as you guys can tell, I love my food in a bowl. Like, I love any type of food that I can just make and put in a bowl. I love bowls. I already know this is gonna be good because I cooked this, like, literally last night. <laughs> mm. Oh my god, this is so good. I'm not gonna lie to you, this is the best frozen broccoli I have ever had in my life. Because usually when I buy frozen broccoli, like, it's only ever, like, the gross little stems. It's never the actual, like, floret of it. But this one is actual broccoli floret, so. 10 out of 10. This bowl is so hot, I need to set it down. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Hot. Let me get a drink real quick. So, a new drink that I've been loving lately, and I'm not even, like, a green tea girly. It is Diet Green Tea Mixed Berry, and the brand Lipton. It is so good. <sighs> Some cheese would be so good on top of this. What is your guys' favorite vegetable? Mine is a potato. <laughs> Tater tots, scallop potato, the mashed potato, baked potato, french fry, you know, it's just never ending. <laughs> but outside of that, I do love me some onion and I love me some broccoli. Honestly, I've always been a vegetable girly pop and I already know, let the fat shaming commence. It wasn't until like my older years, I've actually been like enjoying fruit. But vegetables do not equal healthy because you can be eating vegetables and absolutely drowning them in cream and cheese. So... Yeah, fat people eat vegetables. They just drown it in oil and cream and cheese. Like if you would have asked me as a kid, do you want fruit or vegetable? I would have literally said vegetable. Okay, you guys, so the next thing I'm going to be eating is this Amy's bowl. It's chili mac. I love Amy's, and I always thought this one just sounded so weird. And then a few weeks ago, I tried it after, like, years of dismissing it. And y'all, it's one of my favorites. It's only 410 calories, and you guys, I do add some tapatio to it because I do like the spice. But this is so freaking good. I recommend it. TV dinners aren't healthy, but I will say that Amy's is a healthier version. Plus, like I've said before, I'm very much just focusing on staying under calories and not ordering takeout. And with my Amy's bowl, I will be having a water. That meal looks nice. We have something similar that's also in, in a meal that you can just buy. Not a frozen meal. Well, maybe we have a frozen version as well, but there's a shop that has a... It's not freshly made, but it's not frozen. It's like in the fridge, which is really nice. Because I always feel like cheese and mac needs some meat in it. 
So I am trying to drink more water because I know you guys told me that I need to. Don't worry, I hear you guys. Okay, guys, so I actually just got done playing Mario Party with some friends of mine. And while doing so, we all had a little bit of snacks. I actually took a picture of what I had, so that's what you're seeing here. I had a sun-kissed Colby Jack cheese and some salami. So it actually came out to 535 calories. We used to have sun-kissed here, but now it's only imported, so expensive for the snack i'm done eating for the night so i had 1758 calories which my goal is to stay below 2000 i feel like my sweet spot the spot that makes me really happy is when i am like in the 1600s or the 1700s so i did really good today in that regard so if i drink anything else for the rest of the day it will be water there were multiple times today where i wanted to order takeout that is how it goes every single day for me it is a daily feeling where i just want to order something whether it just be like a bag of chips and a snickers or i want to order a large fry from mcdonald's like i have random cravings multiple times a day so when that happens what i do is i simply remove myself wherever i am when that happens and i truly feel that urge i'll remove myself from whatever i'm doing and i'll start doing something different so a good example of that is like an hour ago i had this weird urge come over me where i was like oh my god i want some cheez it's no idea where it came from you know, if I wasn't like really trying to lose weight right now, I would have ordered them. And when I had that feeling, I was actually journaling. So I stopped journaling completely. I stood up and I started doing the dishes. So it just helps me because like I'm removing myself from doing something to starting to do something else. And for some reason, it just like switches my- Yeah, that sounds like a pretty good strategy. I've heard a lot of people do that or say that they do that when they have some kind of craving or they want to binge or they want to eat something they're not supposed to. So yeah, that's a good strategy. My brain and I'm able to be more focused on what I just started doing because I really do have a short attention span. So by changing tasks, it helps in a multitude of ways. But anyways, it's just another day that I was successful at staying under my goal and saying no to taking out my phone and ordering on the Uber app. So I'm very proud of that. I hope that you guys did enjoy this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Okay. So nothing super interesting really, but I will say the theory behind this calorie counting and what she says is really good. So time will tell if she's actually sticking to it, but if she actually does what she says and she sticks to it, she's gonna see great results and it's gonna be sustainable because it's not some weird fad diet thing. It's gonna be sustainable. She's gonna be able to do that for a long time. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.